Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to more content on the channel. Today's video, we're going to check out a new solo leveling game called Solo Blocks Leveling Reborn. So obviously by the title of this video slash game as well, you guys might already be aware of this, but this is indeed a sequel to a game that we played on the channel, I think around a year and a half ago, almost two years now, which was uh, under the name Solo Blocks Leveling. So apparently this game is starkly different from the previous installments in this series, and I don't know, it should be some fun. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you want to support your boy be sure to drop a like on the video show some love and of course guys if you're new around here consider subscribing stay tuned for some more awesome content all right so by the way guys this game is releasing i don't know when but soon <laughs> right so there, there's been a couple of testing phases well i think there's been one testing phase of course confirmed i think phase two happened or is planning to happen and then after that, I'm not sure what's going to go down, but for at least, um, I wouldn't say it's too, too, too far away. Oh, look at the main menu. This actually looks super dope. All right. So let's click play here. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and like, Ooh, that's already it. That's it right there. That's my hairstyle. Um, faces are a little bit hard to see and we only have three faces. So I'll stick with the first one. Skin color is fine. Hair color is fine. Clothes color. That's also fine. We can change the Ooh, God damn, brother. Okay, I'm messing. I'm messing with this one. I'd rather keep this. So on the right hand corner, we have our classes. Um, a good thing about this game in comparison to the original solo blocks leveling is that apparently this game is honed in a sense to where it's a lot truer to your class as far as gameplay is concerned. So you guys probably want to see, you know, an assassin. So I'm going to go with an assassin. Are you sure you want to continue? You can only customize your character once for free. Future changes will require payment. Uh, yeah, sure. That's not a problem. All right, guys, so we're in game. I'm going to try to see if there's like a menu option or something. Okay, so there is no mute music button. Um, I'm going to lower the game audio to a point where hopefully my own music draws out the, the in game music and you guys can at least hear the like sound effects a little bit because otherwise it would be a very boring video. But uh, UI is really, really, really small on my screen. Uh, I think they should fix the scaling to that relative to screen size, of course. Uh, but we got to talk to the assassin. I mean, assistant, excuse me, association assistant. And that individual happens to be in here. Um, so let's talk to this person. Association assistant says, you're that new hunter, right? Do you want to, uh, do you want to proceed on our tutorial? Uh, okay. A special dungeon appeared on the subway station. Check it out. Okay. All right. So let's get out of here. Um, I think we got to press the X key to draw our sword and indeed. And then what does the T key do? Okay. T key is trading. Um, Oh, damn, we got a whole party. Oh, he's doing these guys are doing a dungeon. <laughs> I'm level one. Can I get carried by them? Hold on. Maybe I could. Let me check that out. But uh, I'm going to show you guys. So these are the M1s. Uh, this is the M2. Actually, we don't, we don't seem to have an M2. Uh, this is how blocks look like. And then they do have barrel rolling or dodging rather. And it has its own stamina system, as you guys can see. Oh, damn, they got cars and whatnot. God damn, brother. God damn. Ooh, that is definitely the Seagate. How do you get in there though? Oh, there's like a little. Oh, what do you look at that? Oh, I got. Did I get kicked from the park? Yo, the disrespect. I think I got kicked from the party. That's crazy to me. All right. Anyways, whatever. So knowing how you guys are, uh, in the channel, yo, I think this might be the subway entrance. Question mark. No, this seems to be like a shop. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have like a blacksmith inside of here. What the heck? All right, so yeah, knowing how you guys are on my channel, I, I think you guys might think similar to what my first impressions were uh, for this game, where um, visually, the, the look of the game, uh, I mean, the environment is cool. It's just like the characters and the way that it, it looks. It looked a little bit off to me, but what really reeled me in to want to cover this game for you um, when the team reached out to me was the fact that it, it uh, the gameplay looked really good. So, oh, look, season Halloween the heck they have a halloween uh, event thing there okay damn how long has this game been in testing <laughs> right okay here we go this is uh, the dungeon area and all right let's go here special rank blah blah short sure. but yeah the gameplay it looked really good at least for high levels there were supposed to be like some high levels joining me um for this video but man my schedule guys i, I don't know man i've been recording these videos way too late and all over the place so Unfortunately, I couldn't make that happen, but the guys that were going to join me were like the best players, like literally top two um, in the beta and whatnot. But look at this. This is super cool, right? So you move using uh, WSAD. 
This actually reminds me of the official new solo leveling game that's coming out, and it's gonna be mobile. It started off in a very similar fashion, in like a, you know, in, in, in like a, you know, subway, right? Oh, if these if these guys are like big like hellhounds and stuff like that, yeah, they are hellhounds. Yeah, so they're probably using the the official solo leveling uh game as a reference point. So let's take out our swords here, and we can move around and dash, obviously. We can press B to open up our inventory and bag. All items have durability and require regular repair. Okay, so damn, I'm I'm definitely missing my attacks here. All right, so hitbox. I would go out on a limb and say it needs a it needs a little bit of work, but that could just be me. So every class has skills. You can check your skills by pressing the K key. Um, press, brother, what? Yeah, there you go. So we don't have. Oh, we do have move. Okay, we do have a couple of movement abilities. So let's just use our first ability. Uh, which is the Z key? Hold on, right? Set your comfort key for each skill on your own. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, it literally says set your comfort key on each skill for your comfort. All right. But yeah, I put the key behind the Z. The user spins around, uh, generating a spinning slash. But it literally does not work. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Let me let me go ahead and do it again, right? Or maybe this keybind is conflicting with one of my other keybinds, maybe. Okay, so I used the one key, and uh, that happened to use the ability, guys. Um, so uh, let's just move this way, and we'll see what's next here. Okay, I love the fact that they have cutscenes, like, at least this is a tutorial, so they're definitely going to go in on the tutorial, right? And plus it's instanced. But, um, yeah, I love, like, the, the cinematics and whatnot. Love how there's like a cinematic for every like stretch of this tutorial so far. Well, come over here, doggy. That man, that man, walking man, slowly and menacing. Nah, man, I want you to dog me out. <laughs> come over here, man. I got something to do with you, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Now taste my one ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if these guys are hitting me or not, but um, I do see their hit uh hit indicators, right? But they don't really seem to be doing nothing, so. I don't know. All right. Yeah, bamboozle those guys. Oh, brother, you seem to be stuck over there, friend. Can I help you, sir? Let me give you a little lending hand, brother. How is it? All right. All right. Oh, yeah, that's, that's that's cool. All right, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Now, there's probably more to the, to the tutorial, possibly, because I assigned everything that I... Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I... I ass oh, do we got like set? <laughs> that is actually hysterical. All right, yeah, we had to press set, and then we, yeah, there you go. We had to continue the tutorial after that. So, all right, now we gotta go back to the hunter association. So let's, uh, actually, wait a minute. Did uh, did no chest drop, or is there anything else here for us? Yeah, I guess not. All right, I'm not even gonna bother exploring because whatever. So yeah, I'm liking the game so far. Um, I, I think this game will definitely do well because, um, again, we haven't done much, but from what I've seen and what I was able to gather is that the gameplay is there for this game. Uh, again, the environments are good, but I feel like if the models and the camera work was a little bit better, uh, people would would uh, would like this and receive this game a lot nicer or a lot better. But again, uh, it all depends because I mean, th this game's like style is uniquely it, like it, its own uh, at the very least. So it's like you see a game that looks like this, you're gonna think solo blocks leveling. So that's probably what they wanted to go with with the the choice for how the characters are designed and how they look or the models rather. But, um, all right, how was your initial experience in the dungeon, question mark? Uh, do you still have desire to continue on the path of becoming a hunter? Yes. So visit the miner, Mayang, in the mining area. Okay, homie wants to trade me. Homie, if you're not gonna give me a bunch of free stuff, my brother. Oh my God, God damn. You gonna give me that, you, you gonna give that for free? Twister dagger, level five. Yeah, what's up, bro, let me get that. Mm, thanks, bud. Yeah, told him thank you in the chat. And we got that twister dagger, baby. God damn. I think I gotta be level five, right? Yeah, but it's, it's so much better than what I have right now. Um, yeah, these, 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 the ones that I have suck, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Hunt says Vex the best. Little Bob says I watch all your vids. Yeah, I appreciate all the love and support, guys. I appreciate the love and support, man. We're making, <laughs> we're making a comeback, baby, on the channel, man. Okay, anyways, I gotta go down over here. Um, and we gotta talk to this minor dude and see what's up. By the way, uh, for, for any devs or anybody on the team that watches this video and is still watching up to this point, I should have said this sooner, but can y'all please add a mute music option, please? I feel like all anime games should by default have a mute music option toggle. Um, because the thing is, like, for content creators, like, I understand some of these games now. This, this area looks nice, by the way. 
But some of these games now have, you know, non-copyrighted music or their own original music. But, you know, we like muting the, the in-game music and putting our own. So, and that's not just me. It's every content creator. But anyway, hey, another hunter, uh, another hunter from the association, huh? They're still deciding on you. But while you're around, how about you try mining instead? What do you say? All right, no problem. <gasps> oh, it's a girl. Okay. Go talk to a miner or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Damn, baby. Damn. Hold on, shorty. <laughs> bro peep the drip we also got yo the jacket that we had on us is now tied around our waist that is so cool bro this character looks sick dog damn all right let's go down over here and we'll talk to this guy hey another miner we're low on manpower at the moment wait is this another woman damn it's all girls in this mining area okay could you please lend a hand gathering some black ores oh Oh, I'll definitely lend you a hand gathering some black horse. Okay. <laughs> I'll make sure to reward your return. Okay. Thank you. I hope we can meet again soon. Take care, okay? All right, shorty. Ain't no problem. So what do we got to do? Take out the pickaxe? Oh, we actually got a mine. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm messing with this game. Oh, this game is lit. I'm telling you, like, I know for a fact if this game just had a traditional uh, blocky, like, R15 models or even even R6 even the R6 is getting out of style I'm not gonna lie but uh you guys would be freaking going crazy over this game I just know that based on how you guys are like this look of this game not the environment but it's just like the way the player actually looks like it's gonna take some use to for you guys but you guys saw the high level player earlier it looked really cool so it's just gonna take some time again to get used to but all right there you go i guess we gotta go further in here now okay let's talk to this person another girl okay thank you so much i have one more request would you mind helping me not a problem these crystals have surfaced because of the phenomenon okay why did it hmm. certain quests just keep skipping on their own i'm not really quite too sure why maybe that's like a, a bug which by the way you guys should take everything you see with a grain of salt game's not finished obviously it's in testing phase all right quest complete there you go uh now we gotta leave the mining job this is fun and apparently you might uh be revisiting this area um and do something with like miners because uh not <laughs> miners lol that sounds so wrong um but um but with the dudes in the mining area because basically you guys see in the chat box uh there was another dude asking another guy hey do you want to uh, farm crystals in the dungeon um and then somebody was like, yeah, I have 100 XP as a miner. So, man, it just sounds so wrong saying it. <laughs> <It's> a miner. <laughs> All right, whatever. Anyways, uh, thanks for the brief assistance. If you're uh, interested, I have another job I can offer you. Okay, sure. Go speak with Arsel. He can also offer an exploration position. All right. So, where's that guy at? Am I blind? Damn, dude, that's another thing that's tough to see in this game is just the... Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, it's just like the indicator for, for quests and whatnot. All right, so here's this guy. Um, Arsel says, great timing. We need more people here. Okay. Talk to Inigami or whatever. Yeah, in Inigami. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, oh, it's this person. Okay. What's up, uh, dude? After the mining incident, hunters killed monsters... And there were no materials here. It looks like they dropped from monsters. Can you help me gather some? We can use them for crafting weapons. Thank you. Good luck on searching. Okay. So we gotta find... Brother, look. We, we went through another outfit change. That is so drippy. I like that. Yo, this is so cool, man. I really like that about this game. Nice. Okay, so what do we do? Do we gotta take out our weapon? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, so you, you literally take out your little magnifying glass i guess that's what it is that we have in our hands and you hold down your click as you guys can see to like observe and study what these unknown specimens are brother can this guy stop this guy literally it keeps stealing all the freaking stuff that i'm trying to analyze man all right there you go quest complete got 200 xps from that and now we gotta go talk to the blacksmith so i don't know if day and night cycles are gonna be a thing in this game or even if they're gonna have like a weather system but i think both of those things would be nice to see a lot of you guys tend to like to see games have those uh systems um and it's just overall nice to not be in the nighttime 24 7 right but anyway did uh minor carbonate uh gave you some craftable materials <laughs> what the hell do you mean did they give you all right anyway you can use it to make upgrade stones okay try to use the materials they gave and craft 
Okay, so place your items in the correct. Wait, actually, we gotta click craft. So what do we do? We can't craft anything. God damn it. And this UI is a little bit difficult to navigate. But that's just my two cents, right? I'm not I'm not saying everything I'm saying to like be hating, whatever the case is. It's just, you know, feedback. Um stones. Let's see. Yeah, we can't even craft. Oh yeah, we could. We could craft uh this one. So let's do that. There you go. Burr upgraded. Okay. Now we gotta go back to the hunter association. So if I analyze uh that gem which is here is usable for enhancing item stats from one to three there's a 50 percent upgrade rate also i have some candy um for the halloween stuff so that's pretty cool all right homie i uh got it done congratulations on reaching this far the association now recognizes you as one of the hunters and here's the reward the official hunter's uniform feel free to join fellow hunters in clearing the dungeons in the world okay okay where's my where's my drip at do I got it in my inventory? Oh my god, brother. I do have drip in my inventory. I just noticed that. Put the cape on. Oh my lord, baby. All right, Captain Hyla's outfit. Where'd I put that? <laughs> right? Oh, in the costume, maybe? What the heck? All right, there you go. Yeah, I can put the outfit there. Um, So literally, all the outfits are the same. But I think I'll stick with this one. This one looks so freaking cool, bro. Like, yo, peep the drip, dude. Holy smokes. So we have a couple of exclamation marks on the map. I'm not sure if those are actually uh, quest givers or the dungeon. I think they're quest givers. Then we have like a little X on, on the map as well. Um, okay, let's see. We are experiencing a shortage of manpower. Can you assist me in collecting materials from other another site? Okay, not right now. I would do it if it, if it were on another vacation, my brother, but we've been doing that the whole video. <laughs> Basically gathering stuff. Yo, this outfit is sick, dude crazy all right so yeah let's uh or not that little oh no the x is still here but we also have like a little red symbol here um, i mean yo this ui also i think needs a little bit of a of a overhaul a little bit of a change you know what i'm saying make things a lot more uh discernible or easy to see obviously these are things that if you play the game you get used to uh, my fear is that, you know, most new players would not make it through to the point where they get used to it. They just like, okay, this, this doesn't look great, you know? Um, but what the heck is this? Is this guilds? Uh, oh, that's my boy JJ. My boy JJ is in here. Um, yeah, what is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can create guilds. Look at that. Some people uh, actually have a decent amount of players. So it seems that 30 might be your max. Uh, total guild size but probably have an upgrade system for the guilds as well all right guys look you know what uh, i don't have too much time to record so i'm just gonna wrap up this video here hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on if you want to support it and uh subscribe if you're new one last time if you guys want to see some more content in this game let me know in the comment section below and i got you guys i could do another video or a couple of videos if you guys want to see me just grind on this game and uh you know just so you guys can see some more of what the game has to offer and what classes are going to look like as you level up um, so we can do our very first yo you have we have a limping leg if you guys noticed <laughs> yo what the heck that is so cool um but yeah so if you guys want to see some more content i guess tomorrow the day after we can showcase our very first portal um and that experience and whatnot so look at jj with an archer class but yeah we're gonna wrap this up here guys thanks so much for watching let me know your thoughts and opinions